Hey everybody, and welcome back to Battletech Rival here, and we're at Itrum. I promised, we're here. Um, before we do anything, we need to do some mech warrior bits, because I've been doing a couple of missions with B Team. Aye, aye. We've got about nine grand for each one, with the exception of Medusa, because Medusa just has more points spent already. Um, I'm not sure. I'm just getting basic. Ooh, call shot bonus. Yes, grab that. Mech warrior training complete. <clears throat> getting basic like upgrades probably a good idea to be honest with you. Getting six across the board. Training confirmed, commander. That makes him just banjo just a lot better. Not as good as Behemoth. We haven't used breaching shot for a while. And in fact, I don't think I've used breaching shot commander? once. Um. Yes. Or I could just do that. Overheat threshold will be Training actually complete. really important for Bunny. Waiting for order. Simply, Bunny is just, like, struggling to keep her mech cold. Mech warrior training complete. Um, Medusa. Yes, what am I doing with you, Medusa? What am I doing with you? I mean, I could get that move after. But that would mean you wouldn't be able to get anything else. And I'd like to try and get you two things. Extra health. Mm, yep. And we'll give you the base weapon upgrade as well. Training confirmed, Commander. That's not bad. He team's coming along. I want to give him some four skill missions. Hmm. I'll think about that. Okay, so that's B team ranked up. Um, Mech Bay. Banshee is now done. I've changed the leg mods so they've got the plus um, death move above damage because simply those are completely. They have no tonnage. Weightless. Really good. Um, which gave me a little bit more tonnage to kind of uh, put another jump jet on. Make it more heat efficient. Things like that. Um, I do have a problem with this Highlander. Apparently. It's a ton underweight. Also another question. Why does it not have... A defense thing in the head. Oh, I need another ton of ammunition. There you go. Um, before we do that, though, I'm missing a cockpit mod. You don't have one. I'm actually going to put you into the cold storage. We're just paying to keep them out right now, and it's really not worth it. Uh, I'm going to do the same to you, actually. Because... Yeah, and it's got the Ultra AC2, which is nice, but we're not using it. But it is useful for... If we want to throw someone out there to try and take out a uh, head of a mech. I will, however, um, remove this so I can put it into our scout right. Highlander. Job's done, Commander. And I'll give this Highlander some extra ammunition because apparently I've taken it out at some point. I don't know when I did that. Ammunition. Ammunition. Thank you. Log and no. I'll only take a day. Shouldn't be too hard. I wrapped up that job. Done. You okay. For, we have contracts here. Well, we have a contract here. Proceed to Itrim where you resist the Restoration Army's efforts to liberate House Gallus. 
The enemy will be fighting from a position of relative isolation. Taking advantage of this, we suggest a lance loadout built to maximize rapid damage dealing potential. Heat management will also be essential. Further details will be provided upon your arrival. Uh, Medusa, Bunny, Halibut, Banjo, you're out. Definitely going to need the better skilled pilots for this one. It's a Martian biome. That explains the need for cooling. Welcome to the Badlands of Ibtrim, Commander. The sands of this desert are rich in exotic elements that pay havoc with electrical sensors and communications. Without use of House Gala's signal boosting equipment, you wouldn't even be receiving this message. The Badlands are a gold mine of rare earth metals and fissile materials. That's not good. The Directorate has seized control of House Gala's largest processor and refinery, and they're getting ready to move a year's supply of exotic materials off-world. A year's supply. That's an awful lot. I need you to capture at least one of these silos for the restoration. Choose your target, engage its defenders, and destroy them. Our recovery team will take care of the rest. You need to act quickly, though. The director will wire the silos to self-destruct if you give them a chance. The same radiation that is garbling the director's long-range communications will render their sensors useless. You can detect them, but they won't even know you're there until you enter their direct line of sight, and the silos won't be able to communicate with one another. Because of this, I advise you engage the silos one at a time. Choose a target, clear of defenders before moving on to the next. If you're careful, you'll be able to hit all three silos, one after the other, and the directorate's troops will be none the wiser. While capturing one working silo is your primary objective, we can always use more. The restoration will pay an additional bounty for each silo you capture beyond the first. Good hunting, Commander. Okay. But if everyone had jump jets, then I'd probably go that way. Because I can go up on here and attack down. But Behemoth doesn't, so. This one. We'll go for this one. Alright, let's rock and roll. Aye, aye. Uh-huh. Roger that. Right. Um I don't think I wanna go that way. I think I need to follow this pipe. Heading out. You betcha. Okay, so I've got jump jets on the three front line mechs. I copy. Ooh. Hostile on sensors. Location confirmed. So, if we can jump down onto the enemy, that'd be best. Rocky ground, not good. But it means I can probably put Behemoth like here. And rain death. Good to go. Double time. Let's go. Okay, we've got three. What can I do for you? Sneaking. The sneaking mission stink. Acknowledged. I need to have line of sight on You're it. getting close, Commander. Be careful with your positioning. If they pick up a visual on you, they'll go on high alert, sensors or no sensors. Yeah, yeah. Confirmed. I want to get all of my assault mechs in place before we do go. anything. Moving out. Full 
Ready for orders. This is really stressful. Okay, so we've got a vehicle. Huh. Two mediums and a light. Okay. Commander. This is like really tents and stuff waiting for orders don't need to tell me twice like super duper tense kind of want to go there but that's going to alert them so You just hold there. Aye, aye. Okay. Orders. Uh, I'm going to jump first because I have the most firepower. Engaging jump jets. Silent alphas detect your presence. I quickly command if you get through them enough time okay yeah alpha lance fall in on my position i've got eyes on the enemy that's an SRM carrier that's actually more dangerous than anything else okay uh we're going double target Kill that Griffin. This is good. It's knocked down at least. Another hit like that, and you're toast. What's up, boss? Decker, I want you to jump there. Take Stop out that. that fast mover. didn't but you did a lot of damage good to go uh how many turns five rounds remaining okay multiple targets two targets down Tango down. on that one uh let's do this again engaging multiple targets oh okay wasn't expecting the ct to go but I 
and she's deployed the fusing charges now. Nicely done, Commander. The storage silo is ours. I'm marking an evac zone on your map. Whenever you're ready, you may proceed there for extraction. Are we going to please proceed for extraction? I don't think we are. I think what we're going to do is Roger. we're going to run through here. Got it. We're going to take out every single bad guy. Moving to position. And take all the silos because, let's face it, for once, we have an advantage. We can choose when we fight. Coordinates received. On my way. They do have these little patches of like weird greeny color here. These are like radiation pockets and they give you um, plus 10 heat for to activate, uh, for, like running through. It's really annoying. But at the same time, they do make it difficult for people to hit you while you're standing at them. So it's kind of a trade off. On my way. And plus 10 heat, really not a big thing for us. You betcha. Roger. Okay. There's the next one. So we're obviously going to get into some trouble here. I'm going to start slowing down a bit. You commander, moving out. On the move. Mm. This looks a bit bigger than the other one. Yes, commander. Ooh, that's nasty. You get visual there and there. Bravo's detected us. Lock and load, Bravo Lance. We've got company. What? Apparently, he saw us. I've got a sensor lock. All right, Behemoth, that's where your target is. What can I do for you? Um. We got another t 40 ton mech there. There's got to be something else. Let's see if we can take you out. Take this. Not quite. There's Only five health left from. on that CT. Ah. Uh. That's got to be a vehicle, an LRM carrier or something. Waiting for orders. Aye, aye. Um, everything at the Locust. Okay, rival. Engaging jump jets. Split targets. Engaging multiple targets. Two mechs down. Enemy mech destroyed. All right, we've got to find that vehicle. Trebuchet, two LRM fifteens. Okay. Standing by. All right. I need you to jump in. Vehicle. Sensor lock that. LRM carrier. Waiting on you, Commander. Got it. 
getting so much extra heat. All weapons are go! When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. I think we lose like 20% of our cooling. Might be more, might be 30%. Is that it? I'm barely scratched. Standing by. Move order received. I'm gonna throw everything at this LRM carrier. I know Rival can take care of that trebuchet. Vehicle trash. Combat engineers, they're securing the structure. Two down, one to go. How do we get to it? There. Moving out. On my way. Received. With the sprinting and not firing, we should cool off really quickly. Can we get up there? Moving out. Look like glitched move. I copy. Just like a normal move. That way she can get all her stability back. Right now she's running up one pip. Okay. Yeah. So copy that. Don't need to tell me twice. We've got a route out planned out. Some Mac. Ready for orders. I'm gonna start moving slowly Affirmative. now. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. Oh wow. Commander. Uh Behemoth, go this way. On it. A little lake thing here I can I think it's meant to be ice. Might be able to help her cool off. I mean it's right at the edge of a range now though. Receiving you. I think we just have to do it. Acknowledge. Uh, Charlie alert, quick for the destroy it. Weapons yep. hot, Charlie Lance. We've got incoming battle mechs, my position. Uh, sensor lock. Go for that vehicle, let's find out what you are. Got a lock. SRM carrier. They are nasty if they get in range. Definitely don't want that. Yes, Commander. Right at the edge of Behemoth's range, but she can kill it. Firing full Vehicle down. I can't remember how many missiles they fire. I think it's like 60 or something. It's just really nasty. I hear ya. Jump. Okay, you can get into the ice lake. Nice. Taking the high road. That's going to help with your cooling. Got it. Uh, 
That's going to help with your CT Did destruction. You see that? Did you see it? Yes, glitch. We saw it. It was very impressive. You know what? Sprint. Full throttle. Another mech. Another two mechs. Okay, what have we got? 55 and a 35. Fire starter? Waiting for orders. Getting into that Up high. bad wind. Sensors. Jenna. On. Okay. Not exactly the mech I would choose on a Martian well, to be honest with you. Orders. Acknowledged. I'm going to be on a Martian world. I am not bringing a Jenna. As long as they attack us, which they're not doing. Receiving you. I copy. Okay, so we've got a line of sight on the Shadowhawk. So if I go after Jenna. I've got a sensor lock. Commander. That should. Heading out. Allow Behemoth to kill that. Or maybe not. Inflicted some heavy damage. Because that would be helpful. Precision strike. Going straight for the CT. Enemy mech destroyed. Okay, this for should be a done deal now. Sprinting. Got two rounds to kill a Jenna, which is down to one leg. Wall's going to get Behemoth to kill. I think Rival's just going to do it. In a... I'm a really mean mech kind of way. Explosive defuse. Let's go, Commander Carlson. Good work, Commander. Thanks to you, the Directorate has suffered a major setback and we've gained a valuable new asset. Yeah, three cheers. If you'll excuse us, Lady Iron, we need to get these mechs hosed down and decontaminated. Come on, Commander. Yang's got a big tub of boron. He's just dying to use it. Commander, the air has been cleared. Darius, give me green light to land immediately. Hold position. Okay, so we don't have to go back and get out. That's good. That was a fairly straightforward one, wasn't it? Suspicious. It was all kind of coming back because I played this before so many times, but it was like, I'm sure there's meant to be more bad guys here. <laughs> so we capture silo A, it gives us an extra 25%. Silo B, 25%. Silo C, 25%. 2.4 million. Nearly 2.5. I am quite happy with that. Rifle got most of the kills. I'm okay with this. I'll take all the nightmares and stuff. My my team can just uh, sit. That is that SRM carrier. So many SRM sixes. 
I mean, doing extra melee damage is really nice. I'm not going to lie. Having the ability to actually, like, punch really hard. But having the ability to knock mechs down without doing ridiculous amounts of damage is just better, I find. Because you've got the chance of injuring the pilot more often. So what we're going to do is instead we're going to find the heaviest mechs we've got. So the Shadowhawk, the Trebuchet, and the Griffin 1S. Um, and then we'll sell those parts. Because there's nothing else there. There was nothing else there. Revelations. L uh, Samantha Gallus. Lady Arano. After almost two years of director imprisonment, I nearly lost hope. For myself, for Itram, for the entire Regan Reach. I owe you my eternal gratitude, all of you. Because of your actions, the director's hold on Itram has been broken, and my people have been saved. That's what we're here for, Lady Gallus. For now, you probably shouldn't get too comfortable yet. Save your thanks. We're here because we need your help. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Yes, it is. But their continued survival is anything but certain. I'm going to be honest with you, Lady Gallus. I had to wade through a sea of blood to reach Itrum. My army is war-weary and outgunned, and the reach is on the verge of being overrun. So if you know anything that can help us, I need you to share it with me. Yes, Lady Aranio, I can help you. I know where you can find what you need to break the Directorate's alliance with Tor the Taurian Concordat. You need to travel to Goldra. Oh, Lord Madeira's home system. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And what are we supposed to find there? <laughs> Promise there's evidence, not another lead to follow. I'm going with that one. House Madeira's insurance policy. A treasure trove of incriminating evidence against House Espinosa. To be revealed should the Directorate ever turn on them. All you need to do is search the Madeira archives. You will find what you need. Deliver it to protect Coltrane, and our Turian problems will be over. The archives are DNA locked to my family. If we were going to gain access to this insurance policy, I need to travel there myself. And hopefully not at the head of an army. You've seen what war has done to Itram. I pray that Goldra can be spared the same fate. Alexander, I... Thunderous roar cuts Lady Gallus' sentence short, and the image on your view screen cuts to nothing. Lady Gallus, Samantha, can you hear me? Oh no, I am not saying what she says. Family show. Lady Arano, sensors are picking up evidence of a massive fuel air explosion in the capital. Castle Gallus is gone. The people must have planted a bomb before we drove them away. It's tragic, but at least we learned what we need to know. Yet another mass murder to hold it. I'll go with the first one. Damn it, damn it to hell. Alexander, get emergency services to the capital, medical teams, combat engineers, whoever we can find. We need to search the wreckage for survivors. I will dispatch our forces right away, Kamara, but I must return home. I will travel to the, with an appropriate bodyguard, but otherwise I need to go alone. Lady Gallus was right. We've lost too much already. I won't see my uh, the army move on Golja. Not if I can do the job myself. Alexander, no, I won't allow it. I can't afford to lose you. Kamara, please. I am duty-bound to see this through. Goldra is a core system, a veritable fortress. If we attempt an invasion, there will be a terrible losses on both sides. I won't allow that. Not if I can achieve our goal another way. And I am confident I can accomplish this through subterfuge what our army could not. The recovery of the evidence we need without unnecessary bloodshed. I'm your loyal servant and friend, Mayor. Always have been. But I'm also a Madeira. And I have a responsibility to protect Goldra from harm. You of all people should understand that. Uh, origin, origin exiled. You need to let him do this. If I had an option going back home and setting things right, I'd jump at the chance. This is his family we're talking about. He should be the one to deal with them. Hate to break it to you, but right now, the Argo isn't safe either. <laughs> I'll go with the first one. Yes, rival. I know you that you would, as would I. I suppose that's what this war is all about. But very well, my old friend. You may go if you must. Now you know how I feel every time you insist on leading a combat mission. <laughs> Not a good feeling, is it? Go, get us the leverage we need. We'll hold the line against the Turians for as long as we can. I know you will. We can win this, Kamea. We will win this. You're damn right we will. We'll make sure of it. We all know what we need to do, so let's get to it. No sense trying this any longer. Yeah. Yeah, let's do the middle one. 
You heard the commander. Back to your stations, everyone. We got a war to win. Yeah, we have. Big shooty gunny war. Okay, so that's Itrim done. Excuse me. Okay, so in other news, uh, Gamma Pod's been completed. If you continue, if I was to let this run, you would see that the third one is completely repaired. Uh, so we need to actually pick another another thing to upgrade, and we've got another hospital thing to do. So. Next one is Medbay 3, fully upgraded field hospital with enough bed space, diagnostic equipment, and surgeries to allow fully half the company to be treated at once. The costs include the salary of an additional skilled med tech to treat your injured mech warriors. A fully upgraded field hospital is enough bed space to... Yeah. We're taking up injuries to keep our current medical class fully tasked, Commander. It makes me worry about our future capacity. Right, so that's that one. And then we have this one. So we need medbay 3 and high capacity power conduits. Gives us two extra medical points. Chance of death from incapacitating damage is 5% less likely. Chance of death from lethal damage is 5% less likely. The original Argo specifications had a room had or had room and infrastructure for actual hospital facilities rather than just simple med bays, with a full hospital's worth of equipment and connections to the ship's library and databases. The med techs were able to perform near miracles of healing. All med bays will be converted into hospital bays. Commander, the medics are talking about all the advanced facilities and how we have they now have sufficient power to operate at all. We'd need to do a major overhaul of our med base, but we'd substantially increase our ability to treat severe injuries. Basically, if people get injured, it's like they're out for a couple of days. It's really ridiculous. Um, in other options, we have an arcade, because of course we do. That would actually max out our morale. Um, a zero G swimming pool or a low G swimming pool. <laughs> I want to have a low G swimming pool. I just want to because you know what would the water do? <laughs> when you have a large space with nothing critical in it, where the gravity is too low for living quarters, and the obvious choice is to fill it with chlorinated water. Of course it is. What else are you going to fill it with? Commander, come on, low gravity swimming pool. I don't know what they're assuming to discuss here. <laughs> Um, and then we have the the training modules. With training space completely packed with battle pods, mech warriors can engage in lance versus lance competition and inevitably means teams, logos, pennants. Large scale competition means even more experience for participating mech warriors. Each mech warrior with less than 30,000 total experience will gain 50 points of experience per day. So if we were to bring out a third lance of uh, pilots, then we would be able to train them up very quickly. I think they'd at least get to level 5 across the board. Which is pretty darn good. Um, you know what? We're going to get that. I don't think there's anything. I mean, we could get the high capacity power conduits. They are a little bit more expensive take 30 days but if we do this I believe it opens that oh we need mech bay 3 first which is another really expensive piece of kit so I'm going to get the repair scaffolding All right, I'll get the team on it right away. that gives us mech repair facilities a bit of a boost as well um, but yeah I think that's pretty much what we're going to be doing how much does that cost 2.7 okay so we're getting to the point where we really need a lot, a lot of cash. A lot, a lot of cash. Any contracts here? A few. Okay, so we've got a recovery mission. A big old battle. Three skulls. Hmm. It does bring a certain people onto our side. Like. The question is. Do I go for just cash? I think I do. I think I do just go for the cash. Like our second team isn't good enough yet to kind of even push the option of getting kills um, and taking mechs down in pieces so we can grab like full mechs so 
I think we just go for the cash. We get 1.1 million. That'll put us over the 10 mark, which is actually kind of important. And I'll leave Team A at home. Banjo, you're in. I really want to run that Banshee out, see what it's like. Bunny, you're in there. Halibut, there. Medusa, getting your front mech. There. Sixes across the board, with the exception of Medusa, who's got a three sevens. It's not bad. They're getting better fast. But I think I'm going to have to get them some three and a half skulls and some four skull missions. Because we're getting into the expensive stuff now. Command interface initiated. All right. It is a Tundra, so we'll keep it a bit cooler. Based on professionals, so we expect a well armed disciplined opposition. Picked up comm signals from this region. What are you? Oh, you're a Marauder. We already have like 12 of them or something. Okay. The snow reminds me of my childhood. I hated my childhood. <laughs> we'll stick to the road to begin with. It gives us a speed boost. Confirmed. Moving out. Uh, not a lot of cover. Really, not a lot of cover. Bandits. Acknowledged. Kind of want to put you in there, but I don't think it's going to work. Move order confirmed. Is that a Highlander? Yep, it's a Highlander 733P. Of course it is. What else would it be? Orders. Um, yeah, let's go for the shoulder. Let's see some light. Waiting for orders. Taking the high road. This is good. Okay, busting in that arm, that's good. Basically, I want to take away that LRM 20. And that is room six. Standing by. I wouldn't mind a 733P in a more of a stock configuration. Jumping. Roger that. I think I hit something good. That was good. Okay, banjo. Aye, aye. I don't need you to do much. We'll go. Just need you to knock him over. So, you know what? Just go for it. Give them everything I've got. Okay, that's Take a problem. That. CT is open. I can buy Highlanders from the black market though, so. Wow, that was a lot. That's gotta warm you up. Reporting. Yep. Major armor loss. Ow. That was an AC ten. Standing by. Here we go. All right, you're gonna. You only got twenty five. You've only got 25. We may as well take that Highlander out. Let's hit him hard. Not ideal, but... Ready to 
get it on. Hitting the jump jet. Ah, oh, trip. Okay. Uh, 69, 69. Yeah. Take out the leg. Giving them everything I've got. Critical hit, Commander. Standing by. Banjo, I want you to move forward. Uh, no, not that. There, stay in the tree line. Copy that. Still don't know what you are, but this treb fired, so. Be able to get full damage on Waiting that. on you, Commander. Take this. Okay, that is three weapons Another dead on that like mech. Let's go. Systems holding. Centurion. Centurion with AC 10. That is. Light damage. Holding smart. Time. I mean, it's a bit of a pain in the neck for us, but. Hmm. You can't be armored that heavily then. Not with an AC-10. Receiving you. Uh... That was some nice damage. To go. Jump. Let's keep you cool. And you in some water. Really need to boost their aims. Oh, we got a head hit. There's more where that came from. Good to go. Acknowledged. That's a kill. Okay, Banjo. Let's split the fire. We may as well knock that trebuchet down and get some damage on the Centurion while we're at it. Show me your war face. That head hit, I think it was. No. supposed to just do Target a bit of damage and supposed to kill it. But I'm, I'm not going to complain. Mission successful. That, uh, that was good. That was very, very good, actually. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to get the, uh, the noobs into some 
four score missions, and I'm not looking forward to it, to be honest with you. Yeah, so we don't get to pick. It's automatically assigned, but that will go over 10 million. Which is good for us. Because there is some stuff that I'd like to get, but it's really expensive. We've got upgrades on the actual uh, Argo that we need to do as well. That's going to cost us a lot. I think that's maybe 15 million there. It's not cheap. It's really not cheap. Um, okay, so apparently we've got some mech warriors who are... Yes, Commander. Yeah, that will actually get us um, an upgrade. I'm going to put it into that. Training confirmed, Commander. Uh, but yep. Good to go. You do too. Okay. You get the max sprint. Or do I push for that? I haven't used it yet. I haven't had to. I've been able to kind of manage my heat. My trigger discipline. Or do I just keep pushing for Tac 9? I think I keep pushing for Tac 9. Uh, Halibut will do the same. Training complete. Medusa. Waiting for orders. The same. Training confirmed, Commander. Yeah. So Medusa's got 12 levels in total to get. Oh, it's got three more than that. So, yeah, 15. Yeah. Maybe I should have taken Banjo and grabbed Tax 7 as well. Just for that indirect fire. But, yeah. Such is life. Um, let's go back to you, main screen. Best cover in 20 days. Okay, so we're going to call it there. Um, we don't have the next story mission yet think we have to uh, leave it for like a couple of missions but yeah I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit on this planet and I'm gonna get as much done as we can I've got a recovery mission for the pirates there it's a three and a half skull I think the kids are gonna be getting all these missions and I think yeah they all seem to be battles I'll have a think. But what is this? 3,000, 6,000, 9,000. I've got the half school there. I'm going to put it up there. So, yeah. 15,000 experience? That should get some stuff, shouldn't it? I mean, it won't fill them out, but definitely should be able to get that to uh, TAC 9. And a good few other levels as well for other things should make them able to handle four score missions quite easily. So, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to basically uh, max salvage 315. So, I'm definitely not going to be going for 315. So, I think these three will definitely be money. Black Sight. Max power is only 407, but we can get max salvage of 5. Probably push for 4. This one I'll have to think about. I'll have to think about this one, because I'm not sure. But anyway, that's what we're going to call it for today. Um, when we come back, I will probably be out of a black market. I'm trying not to do this one, because we've already been to that one. But we will see what we can find. Maybe the story missions popped up. I don't know. But uh, hopefully we will have some extra stuff available. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like we saw, please do consider subscribing. But until then, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.